Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Richard Barrington. I'm Business Development Director for Isotope. And uh, just want to help you understand what we're talking about here. Uh, current new build data centers are 40 megawatt facilities. Okay, 40 <coughs> megawatts going in to power compute. So you can look at pictures of cats doing strange things on Facebook. Sorry, could you speak next to Oh, the sorry. Uh, it, ta it, it takes approximately, it's the equivalent, you, you searching on Google is the equivalent to turning a 100 watt light bulb on for around a minute. Okay, to give you some sense. And you are one of 2.11 billion people who are chasing that particular car on autotrader.com. Uh, over 2, million, uh, 2 billion devices, those are just mobile devices, that's not counting the fixed desktops that you use. So when you look at the scale of the problem, these are just the data centers, this isn't the network, this isn't anything else. The data centers on this planet today consume 43 gigawatts of power. Now, a gigawatt is roughly a billion, depending on where you are in the world. And if we look at that, that's roughly equivalent to 80 size, well, A power stations, uh, just powering the stuff that we now expect. It, apparently, some countries are now writing in as part of your human rights that you can have access to the internet. And of all of that, more than 20 billion is wasted on cooling the compute. Okay? For every watt of compute, there's usually a watt of cooling, and all of that heat is thrown away. 99% of the heat that's generated by the computers out there is just thrown away. We've come up with a way of changing the model completely. And that comes with a huge bunch of problems that some of the guys you've been hearing about earlier on are trying to solve with smarter compressors and everything else. We think there's a new way of doing things which actually means you don't need any cooling anywhere on the planet... And actually, if you're in a temperate climate, you can capture the heat and reuse it. That's what Isotope's about. A five-year research project that's actually been tested by, uh, in Switzerland. We've got our first pilot system in at Leeds. I've just beaten IBM and uh, Silicon Graphics to win a, an open journal competition in Europe uh, for our second system, which is quite an upscale system. Patents granted in, in all the key markets at the moment. And uh, I've got four orders closing this quarter, all in universities uh, who have problems with power and cooling. And I've got around a £5 million qualified forecast for uh, the rest of this year. And what we've done is gone back in exactly the same way as electric car was the original car, was electric, then it became internal combustion, now we're moving on to electrics. The first computers were all liquid cool. And then for the, exactly the same reasons that happened with the motor car, all computers are now air-cooled, and as we know, air is not an efficient cooling medium if you have alternatives. So what we do is build our own servers. We actually stick the electronics in a liquid. It's a very special liquid from our partners, 3M, which is called a dielectric. It's non-conducting, but it conducts heat 20 times better than water does and acts as a self-regulating mechanism, so we require no energy to move the heat from the electronics to an integral cold plate, which is the little blue bit there. We fit up to 48 of those into a single cabinet, and that single cabinet uses just 80 watts of power to move all of that heat, 22 kilowatts worth of heat, to an internal heat exchanger for the building to reuse. And the way it's designed is, at the moment, we're getting heat off the systems at 55 degrees Celsius, which is now getting to the point where that heat has a commercial value. Pop in a, um, a heat pump, and suddenly we have all of that value to be reused in the building. That's part of the reason I think we're in this particular segment. Oh, and we're made in Sheffield. Uh, what does that mean to our customers? It means a massive reduction in energy, a massive reduction in the infrastructure they require. They don't need chillers. They don't need air conditioning. They don't need humidity control systems. It's perfect for hostile environments. It is dust impervious. We don't blow air. So where are we now, and why do we need your investment to help us? We're moving from pilot to production, and obviously we need to take some cost out of our manufacturing processes. We're rolling out our global penetration. We have a lot of interest worldwide in licensing conversations with nine tier one companies, and there's only me doing all of this, so any investment will go to make me two or three of me. Winning lots of awards around the place because the world knows the answer is liquid cooling. We have a very good growth potential that takes us into profitability very quickly. Hopefully we'll have a chance to talk about this further later. Thank you. Thank you.